Good afternoon, welcome to the channel. You join me aboard this spectacular Vigo C10. It's the first time this boat has been in the UK and I've been out on the sea trial on it, which you will be able to see on my other channel, Yacht Boy. I'll leave a link for that video in the video description. But what I wanna do is just quickly show you around this boat and show you some of my favorite features, starting with the stern. Now, something that I've not seen before on a boat is what I guess you would call a semi bulkhead here, which protects not only the cabin from the noise of these twin outboards, uh, but also from the spray as well. So yeah, I think that's a really, really great feature. And like I say, not one that I've seen before, but while we're here, check out these twin 450R Mercury outboards. They are incredible and they sound absolutely amazing. I also like the fact that You've got a backup hand bilge over here. There's actually three on board because the hull is split into three compartments. Uh, this is the first manual one. Obviously you've got the handle here and you've got another one over here uh, on the starboard side. But yeah, you can never really have too much redundancy on board. And although the boat has got automatic bilges, if for whatever reason they failed due to an electrical problem, which is extremely unlikely. But if they did, you know you've got three backup bilges uh, to get you out of trouble. So yeah, I think when it comes to safety on board, you can never be too careful. So it's really good to see that on here. I'm gonna quickly show you the radar mast as well, just because I love radar masts. I like the fact that you've got three spotlights on here you've got one here on the starboard side uh one amidships uh one over there on the port side uh, solid state radar and a nice big spotlight over there as well but yeah i really do like that uh, radar mask i was talking to uh simon the guy that's taking me out on this boat today and i said look if i had this boat i'd probably have a slightly taller radar mast and put a spinning one up there as well but like he said if you're doing you know, 65, 70 knots, which this boat is capable of doing. Uh, I don't think the motor on a spinning radar would be able to handle that particularly well, but who knows, you might know different to me. Um, but yeah, I like that as well. I like the radar mast. I love the fact that you've got this here, uh, which protects you from the noise and the spray. In fact, when we were motoring along, we had this door shut. It was incredibly quiet, but also there was no spray on these windows. I mean, you know, since we've come back, we've not cleaned these windows and we were doing, you know, 60 knots uh, in some relatively choppy seas out there. Uh, you know, it wasn't rough, but it wasn't calm. Uh, yeah, there was some white horses out there and yet still these windows are dry because there's no spray coming back, uh, you know, from the engines, thanks to this partition there with the V on there. I'll take you up to the helm position now. The other thing as well is thanks to this recess in the deck, which you can see here, you know, when you step down, I'm six foot four, I've still got about a foot of space between me uh, and the overhead here on the coach roof. So I really like the fact that this has been recessed down. Uh, obviously at the moment, there's seating, my camera gear, uh, but if you wanted to, you can turn this into a double berth. Uh, this lifts up to seal off that bit here. And then yeah, you can sleep on here. It's a really wide berth. Uh, you've also, you can, if you want to, you can put a, a curtain up around here uh, so you can turn it into a very cozy uh, little cabin. So if you want to spend the weekend on here, either on your own or with a partner, uh, you can do that thanks to that feature, which I think is, uh, is really nice. Little skylight up there to let lots of natural light in. Another one over there on the starboard side. We've even got a little drop down TV, which is great. Uh, another one of my favorite features has to be these suspension seats. I got to feel what these were like firsthand when we were out off the Solent, you know, hammering along 50, 60 knots uh, with the chop. And yeah, it didn't really feel much. Not only has this boat got amazing trim capabilities, uh, you know, you can really push the bow down into the chop if you need to. If you want to find out more about that, then you have to check out my other video on Yacht Boy because I talked to uh, Simon from Vigo 
about the trim system on this boat a little bit more. So if you want to find out about the trimming side of things, then check out that video. But yeah, you know, these seats, you're not messing around with these. They are incredibly sturdy and very, very comfortable. Uh, VHF radio over there on the starboard side. But yeah, look, from the helm position, what an amazing view. I love these big Simrad screens, multi-function screens on here. Uh, obviously you've got a CCTV camera, which is um, on the, the stern of the coach roof, pointing down to the two outboards because you know when you're helming the boat, if you want to look around to try and sort of get a sense of what angle the outboards are pointing, it might be a bit harder um, with that little kind of mini bulkhead there, were it not for the fact uh, that you've got a CCTV camera. And it's actually easier, you know, when you're here and you're motoring along, doing sharp turns and you want to orientate yourself in terms of where the steering is, it's much quicker just to have a quick glance at that CCTV monitor rather than bending over and looking back aft where you're going to be taking your eyes off the action for a couple of seconds. So yeah, there's lots of love about this helm position. Another one of my favorite features has to be these kind of military-esque style buttons, these big beefy buttons. We've got uh, the aft vent, uh, the wipers, the bilge aft, build midships, uh, bilge forward. As I say, there are three electronic bilges on here as well as the hand ones. The horn, that I'm not gonna press because Simon from Vigo's over there. If I press that, you'll probably fall in the water. Uh, even got your, um, your MagSafe uh, charging for your phone on there as well. But yeah, bow and stern thruster, easy controls. You've got your controls for these Simrad multifunction displays as well. Uh, when you're kind of plowing through those waves, the last thing you want to be doing is leaning forward to change your settings on the screen as the boat is coming back towards you after hitting a wave. Uh, so yeah, you've got these controls over here uh, that takes care of that for you. It's an incredibly responsive boat. I mean, I personally have never helmed the boat this powerful before. Uh, and when I was out there, you know, the slightest touch on these throttles, even when we were doing, you know, 30, 40 knots, cracking it open to get up to those 50, 60 knots, it's just so responsive, just so impressive. Um, so the, of course the engines are gonna be a favorite feature of mine on this boat because they are just imp so impressive. You know, what Mercury can, can produce uh, is just, just outstanding. But the way that they're so in tune with this boat, it's almost like they're built for this boat because they work so well with it. Um, so yeah, lots to love about this boat. And of course, I have to show you the door as well. Batman door, as I call it, as it flips up. And you can walk out onto the uh, foredeck. Uh, really great feature up there. And it's really easy to operate as well. We operate it with, with one finger if you need to. Uh, lots of space out here. You can get a table out here if you want to. Get some cushions on the seats so you can entertain your guests. And I really do like the, the slight forward raking angle uh, of these windows as well. It really is a pedigree offshore kind of coastal explorer type boat that you can take out in more or less any weather conditions obviously as long as you remain within the uh, the certification that's been accredited for but you can take it out all throughout the year you know you've got an app that you can pre-warm the boat before you get to it as well it's just yeah really impressive if you want to find out more i'll leave simon's details in the video description thanks for watching don't forget to give the video a like also if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to the channel i'll look forward to seeing you on the next one